Hi dispatchers and welcome to your Canva workshop. I'm going to show you guys the basics real quick of how to create your marketing materials on Canva. By marketing materials, I mean your logos, ads, anything that you're trying to get out there to get people to come to you um, to get your business um, seen and heard about. So let's go right into it. This is the Canva homepage. I'm going to click on marketing as I've already done. It looks the exact same. I'm going to click on marketing and as you see when you pull up marketing you can create like i mentioned a logo a facebook ad you can create a instagram ad and you can create youtube video ads and more so for the sake of this video i'm going to show you guys how to uh, do an instagram ad um, when you click on the reason why you want to click on instagram even though it's essentially when you learn how to use canva you can all of the um this applies to everything this isn't only how to do Instagram. You can create a Facebook ad like this and even creating video ads are very similar in here as well. It's the exact same. Um, so let's show you the basics. All Instagram ads mean is this perfect square right here that it, it, it um, opened up to. This is the dimensions of an Instagram photo. So it'll fit perfectly without cutting anything out of the photo. So um, as you can see, when I open this, the templates opened up on the left hand side and for the people who are saying that they that they are um, being charged by Canva or Canva is trying to charge them, they can't use it without being charged. Let me show you why. So let's scroll down here um, to this photo right here with this perfume on it. You see this photo right here? It has how it has a crown at the bottom right hand corner. This means that this is a pro account, which means that you have to pay for this. If you try to click on this and and it'll open, but it's going to tell you that that you need to basically give them money. Now this bottom right hand corner where this crown is, you will also probably see a dollar sign in here, which means that there's paid elements in here. Like you can use the picture, but there are certain things in there that you might have to delete out of there. So just avoid all of that confusion, all of that possibly having to pay anything at all. Look up here, the first four photos, the first four squares at the top left hand corner right here that I'm um, showing you guys. And these four templates, these first four templates don't have anything at all at the bottom right hand corner of the photo. They don't have anything at all indicating that it might be uh, something that you have to pay for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this um, template to open it up so I can show you guys how easy it is to do this. Okay. Um, when you, as that's, while that's loading. So let me explain these things on the left hand side. Obviously when you click templates it'll show you different ones that you can use if you don't want to use this you don't like how this looks find another one um, I'm gonna use this because it has my brand colors even though you can change the colors um, um, on here as well to whatever you want to change them to but templates right here at the top elements like I said uh, remember when I said if you see a little dollar sign it means that you may have paid elements in um, the photo that you might have to delete. You see how this little crown comes up here for this element? Look what happens when I try to click on it. I, I believe, uh, let's see, I think they try to ask you to pay for it or it has watermarks. So it says remove watermarks because uh, they will show up um, in your photo. As you can see the little Canva watermarks right here in the middle. We don't want that. They're going to try to charge us. So, um, the uploads obviously this is anything that you've uploaded text um, in here like any photos or anything um text you can go in here and you can add a line of text on here like if you need another line you can just click on heading subheading or a body of text and you can upload those right here into the um your picture as well or you can ev either use these uh, even use these really cool um font combinations they have up here already see you can't use these pro ones right here these are ones that you have to pay for this however this pizza party one this one that says play coffee please these are all free so you would want to use those if you're using text elements photos you can even add different photos in here they probably have they, these are stock photos that they already have um for your um you know for your use some of these will be also paid or free. All of these are free, as you can see. And there's more things that you can do as well. But these are the things that we want to pay attention to right here. Let me show you guys how to use elements. Say, for example, 
I wanted to delete this um, in, the, in this picture right here. This is the very last element, this icon right here. And I wanted to replace it with a phone icon. I would just type in, click on this, type in phone icon as I've already done uh, several times <laughs> to try to get this video. But yeah, click on phone icon right here and that will bring up all of these different phone icons. Like I said, don't click these crowns. They're going to try to charge you. So click this phone icon right here. You see it shows up for some reason in a gray color. I don't like that color. So let me tell you something about these elements. Everything you click on this picture, when you click on it, look up here at the very top, uh, right above the picture, this white uh, bar above the picture. This is for that element that you've clicked on. So since this is already clicked on and highlighted, this telephone that we just got, I'm going to click right here at the top to change the color because that don't go with our colors, right? This more so does. I changed the color, so I want to change the size so that it can match. And as you see, these pink lines are popping up because they want to tell me um, how to make my elements, you, you know, keep them in a straight line so that it makes sense when you're done, when you're designing your photos, you know, it matters. So you see how that allowed me to line it up pretty perfectly right here and now it looks like it, it belongs there and if you don't like how these two look you know find other elements that look kind of like this or matches this if that's what works best for you let's talk about this picture right here I don't know this lady so I want this picture up out of here and let me show you how to do that these are all my students that have joined so um, so you want to go ahead and I use this to, to do uh, create thank you posts. I use this for a, a ton of things to create ebooks, all kinds of things. So my picture is right here. And I want to click that so that it pops up in this picture. And let me show you how what I'm when I say click and drag you guys, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to move this picture right on top of this one and drop it. Drag and drag and drop. You know what I mean? See how easy that is? Um, I, you can even move this around if the placement don't work for you. Move things around if that's what you need to do. Um, this is a logo. I already have my logo in here as a PNG file. When, when you guys make logos, save them as a PNG file. Um, so that you can have this clear background like this. I'm obviously trying to change the size of this so that this can go up here where the logo goes and you can literally click the text change it like I said uh, showed you how to do um, change the color up top you can change the font you can just type in here to uh, change what they already have so for example it see how that was overlapping I just took this and dragged it freight dispatch service you know because you you have a, a, a freight dispatch service right so this is what we want to let people know this is this is just what we're going to do um you can even delete things that don't work for you um and you might even want to move that up afterwards like i said you can add extra text lines you can duplicate uh text lines as well and um if you need to you know type up in here again something like that so that's just an example ignore that so that is how you use canva and let me show you guys you can also actually let me show you how to change the background to change the background color just click on it well that's going to change my picture um just click on it and you see you'll know that you what you clicked on is the right thing once you see this color right right up here at the at the top see how if i click on this it changes like a light blue and a dark blue so every time you click on one of these you can change the color so I'm going to show you how to change the background color just in case this doesn't work because it looks like it's clashing with my with my logo up here at the top and I'm not a designer but you know you want to make it make sense <laughs> so instead of white because I already have white text maybe I'll do like a gray or something like that see this looks better. You can see my full logo. I might even change it to a darker gray. 
and this just looks much better. So let me show you guys how to save your advertisement or your picture or uh, whatever it is that you're doing. So you just literally cl click share right here at the top right hand corner and hit download. And eventually, once it's done, it's going to pop up with this download button right here. And you should be able to go ahead and save this like you see here at the bottom. This is going to save to my computer and I'm able to upload this into um, whatever form uh, format I'm, I'm using to, to advertise. I'm able to upload this. I can put this on. Now, if you put this on uh, Craigslist, be careful to make sure you uh, take the phone number out of here because they will try to take flag your um advertisement if you have a phone number up there so keep that in mind but see how this this happened it went ahead and, and downloaded everything downloaded and i'm able to um just open it from my computer just like that so you guys um keep that in mind when you're creating your your marketing materials or any other business materials you need and um, i'll see you guys in the next lesson